welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey i'm patricia and today is lunar new year so david and i are heading out to go hang out with our friends and in the spirit of lunar new years we're giving out some of these red envelopes and for those who don't know what like lunar new year is um these red envelopes you basically put money in it and you give it out to your friends and family and basically just like wishing them good wealth but there's a lot of rules that go into lunar new year by the way like you can't clean and that's the reason why my room is so messy i literally have clothes everywhere i'm gonna clean everything tomorrow you can't do laundry we had to stock up on rice and y'all know valentine's day is coming up i think it's like four days away right now and look what david got me just look how big it is it's this beautiful bouquet with a mixture of red and pink roses and then it has this cute little hello kitty right here it has a bow there was a will you be my valentine's card i don't know where it went y'all why am i losing stuff so much nowadays i don't know hopefully it's in the car and it's wrapped so beautifully like just look at that and then it has this cute little bow right here so yes you guys he absolutely ate i am in love with this and yes i will be your valentine if he's not getting you a hello kitty like a bouquet of roses what is he doing and it's so heavy like just look how many roses are in here and as for my outfit for the day i don't know if i'm gonna wear this just because like it's kind of cold but it looks kind of cute i don't know we'll see okay y'all but we're about to head out um i'll see y'all on the road okay so before we're meeting with our friends we just wanted to grab some food real quick david ended up getting the cold noodles and i got soybean paste too with the side of short ribs 10 out of 10 y'all that food was amazing korean tofu soup this always hits y'all already know i'm a soup girly like fanatic so yes woke up in the morning craving soup <laughs> This place just hurts. This is my go-to boba drink at Kung Fu Tea. It's the winter melon green milk tea. If you guys haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. I'm pretty sure other boba shops do winter melon green milk tea, but Kung Fu Tea do it different. All right. After getting boba, we kind of wanted some pastry, so we went to this cute bakery spot. And literally, when I say they had so many different options, there was so much. And this bakery is so cute. Like there was people on their laptops just doing work, and I'm like, that's adorable. Hey guys, so we're back. I got my chai. Hey, it's a cute little strawberry pastry. After hanging out with our friends for the day, we wanted to go grocery shopping before we headed back home. So we stopped at Publix, just grabbing like basic necessities. Some fruit, you know, we had to grab the Publix chicken. Most definitely had to stop in the snack aisle. Alright y'all, so it's the very next day and guess who's getting a tattoo? Yes. Oh my goodness, I haven't got a tattoo in literally so long. So I was pretty excited. Same with David. And of course, I was reading solo leveling while I was getting the tattoo. At some points, it did hurt a bit with the shading, but overall, it was like a smooth process. And I absolutely love how they came out. And now it's David's turn. His tattoo thing is called a Daruma. It has a specific meaning, but I didn't look it up. I don't know, but it's cute. Our tattoo artist absolutely ate. And after the tattoo session, I just ended the vlog for the day. And now we're picking back up a couple days later. Real quick, I just want to unbox this stuff that I received recently. Some Nintendo Switch accessories from Play Vital. Let's see what I got. For starters, I got these cute thumb grips for my Switch. These are all Switch cases. Alright, so this is how my Switch looks with the blue soft case. And I actually like how the soft case feels. It feels really nice. And I got these adorable bunny thumb grips. I just hope they last whenever I'm playing Mario Kart or Overcooked. <laughs> or anything just like where I have to go crazy with the thumbs. But I love it. It's so cute. I think it fits my setup really well too. This is the second case. And it's just like a basic light pink and i paired it with the bear thumb grips i think it's so cute but honestly i think i like the blue one better so far
and this is the third case that I got and now that I think about it I don't know maybe I shouldn't have got the black colorway I feel like maybe white would have looked better but I don't know I thought I was gonna like black if I would have to rate all the cases that I got the blue one would be first the second one would be the pink one and the black third and all the thumb grips are literally so adorable so Jade and Travis hit us up and wanted to grab ice cream and of course I could not resist. I could not say no. So we stopped by Matcha Maiko. They have the best matcha soft serve. 10 out of 10, literally. Here's where the fun starts, y'all. Okay, so David and I are going apartment shopping and I had Jade and Travis join us just because I wanted to have them there. And the first apartment complex, I really wasn't feeling. Maybe because we made an appointment at 1 p.m. and we got there before that appointment time. And then we had to wait 20 extra minutes because the touring guide or whatever was busy. And like, she just had an attitude for some reason. It just wasn't a welcoming experience, you know. But the apartment was cute or whatever. The bathroom, the appliances, it was, it was cute or whatever. But I don't know, I wasn't feeling it as much. But I know for sure David and I would need a two bedroom minimum. You know, I don't think we could do a one bedroom. Definitely pros and cons in this apartment, but you know, we, we progress. And now we're on to apartment two. This one was nice. I like the darker cabinet colors. The granite was kind of throwing me off. I don't know, I don't like granite. I like quartz, just white plain. But yo, look at the laundry room. The laundry room was freaking huge. The bathroom was cute though. I mean, but again, it was kind of giving vibes similar to the first apartment. Now we're on to the third one. We're just checking out the amenities. They literally had so much. It was like a 24 hour pool, clubhouse, golfing, etc. We have the city view line on the top. And now we're in the apartment. I actually liked this one a lot. It was just giving, it had a lot of storage. The backsplash was cute. The living room was a pretty decent size. I liked that they had the glass panel in the shower. Again, more storage. Closet space was pretty decent. The price was kind of up there, y'all. Like, I don't know if this apartment living it's expensive especially in atlanta but the kitchen was definitely the star of the show i loved it they were on apartment four this one was cute y'all it was probably my favorite out of the four that we saw this day the bathroom was cute though i was loving it they had mad storage the apartment was nice but when you think about the apartment complex it just seemed to party it was just giving college vibes it kind of wanted more like a quiet lifestyle and while we were touring it was just a lot going on that was probably the only con um, and of course, like it's in a busy area. As for look and feel of the apartment, it was so nice. Okay, and after all that touring, we were hungry. So we stopped at Yogi, which is like a cute Korean restaurant. It's so good. Let's just say that. Like first, the presentation, come on. They ate. I got pork belly over rice. Um, usually the noodles are cold, but they were kind of warm today for some reason. They always give various amounts of veggies on the side, which is nice. And today I also ordered a fish cake. After eating, of course, we had to stop by a cafe. They have the cutest macaroons, y'all. And then the, the Korean little mini cakes. Oh my God, I wanted it, but I knew I wouldn't finish it. So I was just admiring its beauty. Jade got this, I forgot what the name was, but it was so cute. Um, and then I got a matcha and David got like coffee with ice cream on top. But yes, the matcha was okay. It was kind of sweet, but you know, I'm gonna still drink it because I paid for it. <laughs> and yeah, we were just vibing, just chatting talking about the apartments, enjoying the vibe. All right, y'all, so it's a few days later now and it's a Monday and I wanted to take you guys to work with me. So I'm just getting ready real quick, washing my face, brushing my teeth, doing my hair. How your weekend, Patricia? Uh, my weekend was pretty good. I just hung out, um, relaxed, took it easy. Even if you get like the 
copy and messaging you can just send it to me and i can add that to the mailer for tomorrow social pieces the big hitter is definitely like the landing page but again you don't even have to worry about like building it i could just base it off the copy and like if there's any graphics again i could probably just like tweak it we can review it later today or sometime tomorrow and get that live asap Oh yeah, real quick, for those who may not know, I work in marketing at a small tech company. So that was my very first meeting of the day. We started around 11, just jotting down what are the primary goals for the day, secondary, and any distractions slash obstacles that we are facing currently. I feel like for me, I don't know, the weekends are like a reset for me. So whenever I come back to the office, my brain is literally just like, girl, what did you do last week? What are we supposed to be working on? So yeah. Just going through that every Monday morning it helps put me back in that mindset like okay we got these things going on and I'm looking at my schedule right now and I just have two more meetings for the day and then between those calls and after those calls and I like to tackle those items that I said I was gonna get done by end of day it's gonna be the various creatives that's floating around we have a campaign that we're currently working on I need to make a mailer for that social pieces landing page which are definitely like the big hitters and priorities for me currently. Okay, you guys, so I just finished work for the day and now that I look at my work area, literally it's so messy. I'm kind of in the mood to clean a little bit. So yeah, I wanted to take y'all with me. I dusted up, I got my iPad, I got some various other stuff I was using to make videos. Everybody just have an area that they throw all their clothes. Yes, this is mine. I just put it on my little couch, just mad stuff on the floor. And then we have my little cute bookshelf and then boom, reality hits in. This is like PR that I have to unbox. Okay. 